Mm. What's up? It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm Stephanie Santiago. Jemaino. Yay. Was I supposed <laughs> to announce? Yes. Come on. You done been like here seven times. I'm Jemaino. It been mm-hmm. that long? It's been a minute. Hey. Mano got his own things now. You know, he got oh, kitchen talk and everything. Yeah. So he got his yes, own way that he yes, does things. Yes, yes, Fox yes, soul in the yes. building. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. Yes. You know, I always felt like Mano needed his own, you know, I mean, you've had other situations, but right. for you to have your own show and podcast, right. you're a great talker. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm super happy to be here. Mm-hmm. You know, when I when I get a call that when Angela calls, I'm near. Oh, it doesn't matter what it is. My BRF. You just got yeah, back see? upgraded. Because you tried to demote me I backstage. did demote you to just the RF. Because <laughs> yeah. apparently Mano has a restaurant that oh, yeah. he yeah. hasn't well, invited it's none a, of well, us to. It's, it's yeah. the family business. Mm-hmm. And I would I would like y'all, I would really love for y'all to come by. Okay. Now oh, this God. is official. The this invite. is official. This okay. is the invite. Yeah, so tell us a, about this restaurant. Since this is the Chelsea House. Okay. It's in Chelsea. Mm-hmm. Um, it's dope food. You can get the seafood boil you there. It's a good vibe. It's something like, I always say... Like when you go to Atlanta, you might go to Copper Cove. Mm-hmm. That's that vibe right there. Okay. This is our, this is us right here. Toast so you, on nice. Lennox, you know. Too. Yeah. This is this mm-hmm. is a vibe, right? We, we we rappers feel free to come by. You know, last week we had Gunner come by. Uh, him and uh, 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 him and Future came by. Nice. Um, you know, Fab is there regularly. You know, me, Jim. You know, me, Jim, and uh, Davies was there last night. Sound like y'all need some ladies. No, ladies come. No, I'm playing with you. Ladies come. <laughs> no, Lala came by. Uh-huh. Uh, I just uh, seen Lala. Yeah, we was she, in a wedding together. Yes, see that? Look. Notori. Yes. Shout out did to you, Notori who just got catch, married. Did you catch the bouquet? Lala, Lala caught, caught the bouquet. It. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. And nice. she was extra hype about it. She was dancing and everything yeah. with it. Like, nice. yes. And she was talking about it before we went up to cast the bouquet. Now, you know me. I wasn't trying to cast the bouquet. I was filming... Her, catch her catching the bouquet. Nice. Your hands was full. Yeah, my hand was full. <laughs> so I didn't want it. <laughs> yeah, the ladies, the ladies, it's a lot of ladies. It's a, it's like a lady spot. What Janelle is? Monet oh. came by. Oh, I love nice. Janelle Monet. Yeah, a lot of lot of people, a lot of people. It's a nice so spot. you're really into food, which I've um, never knew until you started doing the kitchen talk, and then I came right. there. You had the caterer and everything. I got the cook there. Shout out to uh, Pearls Monroe. So when you come, you know, the kitchen talk, we provide the vibe. So mm-hmm. you know, it's. It's not a cooking show. It's not about food, right? So for me, the kitchen is where we hang out at, right? In the house, That's right? That's the hub of the home. You're right. So we, before you go out, you're in the kitchen, you're congregating. When you come back from the club, you congregate in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. You understand? And then it's a metaphor for the street, though, because, you know, we go to the kitchen yeah. Yeah. before mm-hmm. we go outside. Mm-hmm. You understand? We go get it right, right? Mm-hmm. And it's also mm-hmm. like the back of our hair. <laughs> it's funny because we don't provide no food we just give y'all drinks no that's it get you drunk and you start talking crazy we actually pr- don't provide food for that reason no I'm right. kidding you you just go <laughs> but seriously I didn't know you were such like are you a foodie um would you say you know I, I wouldn't say I'm a foodie because I, I feel like my brother Rick is really a foodie like he mm-hmm. really is into food but I feel like certain things make people comfortable, mm-hmm. right? So I said, if I'm going to do this show, I want to make people comfortable. We in the kitchen already. You know, if we got a female chef, females in the in the room, it'll make, it'll make niggas comfortable, right? right. So it's create like- Create the vibe. It's create the vibe. We got some alcohol and whatever you like. If you like hookah, you, you know, whatever it is, whatever the vibe is that you like, mm-hmm. we can create that. That's and nice. the food is just going to make you feel even better. Like, oh, word. Yeah. So it's just- a, at, at home vibe, like we sitting there, we kicking it, we talking, we laughing, and you know, Ange been there, and it's been it's been a hit. I like your um, co-host too. I like that you're very yeah. comfortable speaking around women, right? Which I think is a right. good thing, right? So most men are not. A lot of men that we've spoken to, unfortunately, I feel like have not been as comfortable until they had like round two of a drink that I poured them. A lot of podcasts right. is like if a guy's on it, it'd be like all dudes. You know what I'm saying? Right. See, I don't like that because I feel like I don't want to I didn't want to create a situation where it's like I'm always the hero. I always know what I'm talking about. I'm always the master. I'm always the best knower. It's not like that. Life is not like that. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, you know, I got friends, fortunately, in my life that they're like, nigga, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> right? So I like that. I like the contention <laughs> that we don't always agree. Yeah. Right. So because you get a male's perspective from things 
and then you get a female's perspective in in those things and although they clash you you the listener gets both gets to to tap into both you know areas mm-hmm. what, what's something you would say you learned about women that you didn't know before most recently um wow yeah y'all never let up y'all don't take a day off <laughs> y'all don't take a day off <laughs> over 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 overthinking mm-hmm. right it's like it's it's thoughts to everything it's like we, damn damn i say yo big Ange. what you mean big oh yeah Every, i would say that if everything is a, y'all <laughs> like, don't take a day come on man or, i was on vacation i ate a lot right so <laughs> that's one of the things i noticed mm-hmm. how stuff hey hey <laughs> hey <laughs> so it's safe to say you like to eat I like to eat. I love to eat. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Are you overthinking? <laughs> uh, <might be. laughs> yeah, but I'll do that too. You understand? I so, even, what? <laughs> what are we talking? What are we talking about? What are you talking about? I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's safe Y'all to say. Hilarious. Everything. Okay. All right. When I do mean, you think you got good at it? And with food? At eating, <laughs> at eating everything. When do you think you got good at oral sex? Because I feel like no guy is well, good at it. Why are we? What are we talking about? You know where you at, man? It's a no, Oh, I forgot. This we is lip service. We cut it a segue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, segue. I know you ain't been here in a while, but you <laughs> know what it is. is crazy. So listen, guys are usually not good at it, like off bat. So how do you think you got good at it? You got to practice. <laughs> listen, I don't, I don't, I'm gonna be honest with you, though. Like, I like beautiful women. Mm-hmm. I don't even want a woman. I don't want a woman that I can't look at her and say that I want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want to desire her to the point where I say, God damn, I want to put my mouth on her. Mm -hmm. This is what I want to say. I want to fantasize about her. I want to be in ultimate lust with her when I'm looking at her. I want to be thinking about her that way. If I can't have that thought of her in that way, I don't even want to play with it. Okay. So you never ate a pussy that you wasn't really like that into the woman? You definitely young man though. See, first I'm not giving up my crown like that. Like it's <laughs> either it's either I'm gonna do it or I'm not gonna do it. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna play with it. It's either I'm gonna really do it or I'm not gonna do it at all. Like I mean, it's up to you if if it happens or not. Now if it's something going on down there, then I don't need no business down there. Mm-hmm. Mm. You understand? You don't even need a business in the room then. Woo. Period. All yeah. Right. Yeah, but sometimes you already committed and you got to finish. You got to finish the up. Car. You never have to right. finish. <laughs> sometimes you got to do it for the. Have head. you, ladies? Have y'all ever backed out of a situation? Like, because I don't, I don't think don't women start feel like that. Don't in here right now. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's times that we committed and we're like, capping. fine, I got to, you know. But there's times when we've backed out. Yeah, there was, there was. Yeah, I can say I backed out. I never been backed out on. I, I backed out because I couldn't handle it. Wow. Ooh. It was too much. Sorry, Mayna, you never been backed out on. Now, <laughs> change, now we done changed the whole concept. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't mean that. I didn't, I didn't mean to do it like, yeah, oh, my shit. Mayna, oh, my wrong answer. Yeah, you know you good, my nigga Gigi. don't get no bigger, but. No, but it's okay. But you see, but here's the thing, though. <laughs> but that was my personal reason for backing out. I couldn't. But he couldn't allowed you to back out? Yeah. Who are you, what's he going to do, Mayno? I'm just saying, like, come on, like, <laughs> talk to I you. I definitely like, I backed out, but not in the middle of the act. Right, like, that don't make at sense. at that moment. Gigi, I almost don't believe Once that. we already no, there, it so, happened right. already. So, we need context. But G right. got a story to tell. You know I always got a story to tell. <laughs> Bring some weed. Yeah. <laughs> G got, G Bring got some weed, one. I got a story to tell. So... Um, we spoke about this before. I had as laser. As soon as I said it, I thought about you. Right. Mm-hmm. I had, you know, she know. Mm-hmm. I had laser rejuvenation mm. to my vagina. Okay. So there was a laser that tightened me up. And um, there was a guy that I was, you know, having some fun with prior to the laser. So he was used to what it used to be like. Right. And then after... After laser, it's a little different, and he came in trying them same moves, and I had to tap out because I couldn't take it. That was a medical condition. That was a medical condition. Medical condition. That was a medical condition. It's okay. Like you had an excuse, and this is somebody that 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 you have been with prior. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He had to understand that. He had to respect it because I'm I'm pretty sure he knew that you went and did Uh, tighten it up. Yeah, 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 for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah. that's that's, that's different. a plausible reason. Yeah, so he was still trying to. I've changed my mind at the last minute. Like why? Because the guy's penis was so small, I didn't feel like I could do it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow! I That's didn't know, crazy. and then wow. I, I was like, mm. and then I was like, I don't think we're ready for this. <laughs> and that was wow. it. So like, he just 
took his pants off and you just looked like, oh. It no. was terrible. Okay, no. Right. It was a medical condition. <laughs> Some niggas got that out there. <laughs> no, but I really did because I was like, you know, you kind of don't want to waste a body on that. Like, Cause that's a body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a and body. Then you, let a, then you let a miniature joint. You let the the the. Because if I did, nugget. it would have just been for sympathy. Like, yeah, that's you feel bad. You can't do the chicken nuggets, man. Yeah, so that's the only. I'm well, maybe not the only time. I yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I've done it before too. I don't like, back I out. If I'm committed, I'm committed. Because if you like, you, here's what happens, right? If you get up and go to the bathroom and I'm halfway thinking about it, that'll be like, eh, and you come back, I'll be dressed. <laughs> oh, All right. Bitch. You never did that? that like change your mind? foul. And then he's like, I'll be right back. And then you're like, you know. <laughs> How does he handle that though after that? What can you say? Because if, if he acts fucked up, then you'd be glad you didn't do it. Right. Mm -hmm. He still got to be cool because he might think later on it could still happen. Yeah, yeah right, exactly. But why play with bad. me like that? It's not even playing because you could just really be on the fence and not sure it's going to happen. And then... Well, how far did you get? Did you take your clothes off? She said, put my clothes back yeah, on. Yeah, put my clothes back on. Damn, that's not on the fence. <laughs> that's not you just on went the to go clean off, you know, do something in the bathroom yeah. and came back and lost his chance. He went yeah. To pull, he went to pull his joints. Because sometimes you, I feel like this in the bedroom, <laughs> right? And I feel like this for guys that too. Like if you want to do something to a guy, you shouldn't really ask him first. You just try sure. and then see. Because sometimes if you ask a guy, it doesn't sound right to him. Ask him like what? Like, if you want to try something maybe that he's never done before, oh, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this great. I forgot what show this was. I forgot. Like, it's been a, it's been a while. Like, if you're going to do something to a girl and you're not sure she if she'll like it, you're not going to be like, is it okay if I put my finger in your butt? You'll just do it. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, is it okay if I spit in your mouth? You would just do it. I don't like the spit in the mouth thing. Yeah, neither do I. But I'm just saying, if you were going to do something I'm like that. I'm finding that more people like to do it. And we they keep say, hearing spit about in my it. Mouth. And I'll be like, they be like, spit in my mouth. And I'll be like, yeah, like all right, fuck it. All right, and then they want to spit in my mouth. And I'll be like, I don't like that shit. I no. don't want you, I don't want you slob in my mouth like that. I don't, really, here, I don't I think don't that's just something that you I don't know be doing what to do with, with everybody. It. You spit, like, well, Swallow it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to like, play like that. Did you have curry? I don't want to play like that. <laughs> I, I, so, would you say that you're a freak or not really? What what constitutes a freak? Like, though? if somebody asks you if you were talking to a girl and she's like, "Are you a freak?" Possibly, yes. Yeah, possibly. I mean, I don't think that I'm I'm outrageous. I don't think I do anything. You know, out the ordinary. You look like a traditional. <laughs> yeah, a traditional. You know, <laughs> you know, come put me in my place. Come sit on my face. Come put me in my place. Come, you know, <laughs> let's have fun. Okay, sit on your face. You like that. What What would you say that you do that's a little like out of the ordinary? I don't think I do nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing? I, nah, I don't think I, I, you know, I think, you know, sex, oral sex, all that is, Ordinary. Pretty standard nowadays. Mm -hmm. What if a girl's like slap me? Oh no, I did. Oh, I did like role See? play before. Mm -hmm. Nice. I did role play. What were you? But what I like role play with white women. Uh, what was the character? You been with white women? Have roles? I been with white women? I just okay. I didn't know. I'm really been with white women. What was it. what was this role play? I did it for Mattel. What, what do you mean? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I did it for all them years. Did man. you like that? <laughs> Huh? No, what was the role play? Yeah. The role yeah, play. What was the role? This feels like it's gonna be so wrong. It's so wrong. I'm gonna tell you right now. I've oh never God. talked about this. Uh-oh. Ah oh, shit. Dun, dun, dun. I like to be like a runaway slave. Okay, no. Man, oh, oh shit. Oh my God. <laughs> I like to play like a runaway slave. Okay. I like to play like a diso a disobedient slave with a white woman. So tell me like what you say. Yes, man. <laughs> I was sorry. I, I, it's two. It's, it's it's two of them. Like it's like me getting whooped, right? You get whooped. It's like it's like I play like you whipping. But most of them don't want to play like that. This is this. Yeah, nigga, I was gonna say, nuts. what white woman goes along with this? They don't want to play like that. They don't. Okay. Want, this is my. It's like, listen, you're gonna <laughs> act like your master's your your master's uh, husband uh, wife. wife. And I'm the runaway. And I face. just got whooped by massa for uh, eye, eyeballing okay. you. Oh. But the whole time you've been really. You know you you, you like it. Anyway. You been eyeballing me. Oh, uh, this sounds like some freaky porn. I'm interested. Right, this is some freaky shit. And then yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna come all sweaty 
right? Just finished getting whooped. And you're going to say, no, Billy Joe, no. No, Billy Joe, no. <laughs> Master's not going to like it. He's not going to like it. That's what you know you want it, lady. This is a whole script. Yeah, it's a whole script. So, so, so white women have gone along with words. this and done this. He's speaking from experience. Nobody really went along with it. Like, I okay. stood up on the wall and said, come on, let's act it out. And he was like, man, no, are you crazy? What if they call you the N-word? See, this is this is because this, this comes this, with this it. Where, this is where it goes deep, and this is where I'll probably be canceled after this. <laughs> you be right like, here. don't say it. Go ahead. I don't know if I can say this. Say it. <laughs> I'm gonna take Gigi's advice. <laughs> this is really <laughs> say it. Shit. I want to know. I don't know because it's not right though. It's, <laughs> but this, this is, is all shit. fantasy stuff. This so. is all fantasy yeah, shit though. Okay. In the in in the fantasy world, in, for, in the fantasy world, because of this, I've never, nobody's ever did it. Mm -hmm. So the other fantasy is that they whipping me, and they calling me a nigga. Why are they doing it? Right. So, but say you would want that. Right. <laughs> crazy. You, dis you disobedient nigga. But you, do you think you would feel weird after? Nah. No, okay. Because at the end of the day, the the the, the black dick will rule. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Oh you want to hear something crazy? I do. Yeah. I do know this woman who used to have sex with this white guy, and he used to call her like the N word and everything. He used to pay her though to have sex. Who used to call who N word? The guy, the white guy. He we'll used to say that to that. her, like he would, he would pay her to call her. Call her. Yeah. So that, no, that's that's. That's different. I'm but she allowed, like she was okay with yeah, it. Yeah, that's, but that's kind of demeaning. I don't know if this is the same fantasy. Now, like I said, nobody's done that. Mm -hmm. Did you see that play, the slave play on Broadway? No, I didn't see you it. You should go see it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I would. Because that actually, on in that play, that actually happens. Because in my mind, I feel like there were slaves fucking... Of course they were. were. Huh? Okay, so yes, that's actually, of course. You, that's what I'm saying. You got to see this play. This is what I'm saying now. Mano, go to Broadway I'm and see this play. I'm the disobedient slave that, that keeps getting his ass whooped. You definitely would have been in the house too. Yeah. I wouldn't have been in the house. Yes, you would. How mm -hmm. would I have been in the house? Because you passed the brown paper bag. No, yes. but I'm a nigga that don't know how to, I don't know how to follow rules though. <laughs> That's me. I'm I'm the I'm the asshole nigga that can't. You'd have been in the house regardless because your your grandfather was that runaway slave that was getting whipped and they gonna cut my foot off. They gonna cut my foot off. Count the foot off. <laughs> this is awful. But I'm gonna still be fucking. Oh my god! I just want to nub. say this is just Mano's fantasy. Okay. Right, it's not a real thing. I don't want it's nobody. It's not a real thing. Yeah, because they're chopping this up. Don't come for <laughs> you know. us. Yeah, yeah. This we is, can't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because Gigi is very worried about me right now. <laughs> I am. She is very worried about I'm me right worried. now. I am too. Yeah, because. he's very worried about me. Now, right now let me ask you this: What is something that you've said no to? What do you mean? Like something that you have like had to put a stop to? Like during? Is there anything that you're like that's off limits? I ain't doing that. Mayno ain't letting no girl put her finger in his butt. Fucking side. right. We don't play like that. But has anybody tried it? Girls, if you don't, some yes. girls would 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 try like they'll try to try. They they act like they're down mm -hmm. there and they're trying. We know to, how to do it. You understand? But if it's a white woman calling you the n word and she does it, <laughs> oh, she, first of all, it has to be if I'm in the fantasy mode. Okay. You can't just walk up to me. So it's Kunta letting it's Kunta letting this <laughs> white woman walk. play with his butthole while he call you why she call him nigga. You can't walk up to me, call him no, no, hell no. We can't play like that. Don't <laughs> okay. the fantasy. Just, is making about, sure, just making no, sure. Just making sure. Because you gotta understand it's the a power fantasy, thing. Right? What in the, the metaverse is going on here? It's me from the bottom, me being a slave, really overpowering. Mm -hmm. He like Jango, master's, master's, master's wife. Wife, we get that's that part. Really what the, that's what makes it spicy. Yeah, right. Really. And and the <laughs> whole thing is that she act like she don't want it, but she really, but do. she really do. She been wanting it. Right. She's sitting there. I'm on a plantation. I'm out there sweating like a motherfucker. And she over there watching. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Mm -hmm. Have you watched porn like this? Like no, they, they have, don't have no porn like that. I, I feel like they have to. I've it never sounds, seen porn like I that. I don't know. It sounds like they might. Yeah, they made everything under the sun. I just huh. ain't seen that one. We got to see. I think Sarah J is coming up here. So maybe she. Oh, you do porn stars. Mm hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. we could get this. Uh... <laughs> Mayna, do you see yourself getting married one day? What? 
<laughs> you know, I'm just got thrown off from the question. Like, I don't. Like, do you see yourself ever getting married? Is that something married. that? Because uh, I was just at a wedding, and I was like thinking to myself while I was there, I was like, do I see myself ever getting married? It was a beautiful experience. Marry, marry. I'm not against marriage. I just think that people get married for the wrong reasons. I feel like, you know, a lot of a lot of us get married, you know, looking to find love. I think that, you know, who you marry. You know, if you ra- if you marry a person that was an asshole before you married them, they still gonna be an asshole after the marriage. The mm-hmm. marriage is not gonna change people. Mm-hmm. I think we have the wrong outlook on what marriage is, and we put so much emphasis on the actual marriage itself that we not putting emphasis on ourselves. So the thing is, you know, I'm not against it, and I can't never say never, but it's not something that I actually really give a lot of thought to. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been close to it? Like, Never. Oh, shit. Well, you that really don't like, give no oh, thoughts. That was a quick answer. Was it, was it, was it, yeah. Was yeah, that was really fast. You never yeah. was laying there and been like, I could marry her. You never went ring shopping? No, because I'm thinking that, the ma- I, because the way I think about it, I think I feel like marriage should just be the last step to what is already there. We should already feel like married. we're married. We should already live like we married. We should already, you know, our souls should already be dancing and intertwined with one another. We should already be connected spiritually and, and mentally, right? It should be already, we should already be a union. The 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 ceremony, the 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 actual standing in front of the 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 the, the priest, that should just be the icing on the cake to something that already is, mm-hmm. opposed to the other way around. So, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. if I'm already in an organic situation like that and it feels that way and then we wake up one morning and say, yo, you know what? What's let's, up? Let's do let's it. Just, let's just do it. Mm-hmm. I think people do it the, the, the wrong, the way, wrong the, way, the other yeah. way around. Right. Which is and this is why it doesn't work. One of the reasons why it don't yeah, work. I don't, yeah, I don't feel like you should get married thinking that things would be great after you get married. They got to mm-hmm. be great before you get married. You ever mm-hmm. see women, they be like, I'm a whole wife. Okay, you're a whole mm-hmm. wife, but that your 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 husband is a whole same mm-hmm. type of nigga he mm-hmm. always been. Mm-hmm. Husband still got bitches. Mm-hmm. What's mm-hmm. The, what's the difference? Right, it's this whole thought and idea of just being a wife or just being married for the sake of what society says. That's the wrong reason. You know, right? It's like you you should be married. You know. So you feel like um, a husband shouldn't have other women when you're married. You should just be with your one wife. And you feel like husbands shouldn't have no, bitches. No, 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 no. That's not what I feel like. So if a guy has bitches, that makes him not a husband. No, it depends on the woman. If she's if she's okay with it, then so okay with me. But what I'm saying is that most women in that situation that you know they want to live they want to live a monogamous marriage, right? So mm-hmm. a lot of women have that degree of of thought when it comes to their marriage, like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just married this nigga, and, and it's you know, just us. You bet it's just us. But what you don't and, know, right? He really a lot knows. of times, that's not as realistic as we think. Are we supposed to be together with one person forever? Is that real? Really realistic? Does that go for women too? Yes. Okay. Yes, because when y'all change up, y'all change up. <laughs> when y'all done with a nigga, it's, when y'all change, when this, when y'all whatever switch is hit, when y'all fed up and y'all done, y'all like a whole different person. Mm-hmm. So it's like love never was. It's like it never was, it never had been because y'all become totally different. I yeah, but that takes that a lot. I don't women. think that love's never been. It's just, I, personally speaking, when I was in that predicament, it was just that I've had all that I can take and I couldn't take no more. Right. That was it for me. Indeed. The, but the, it didn't d- the delete the presence of the love that was there. But the way you, the way you it moved. It faded out made, though. Might have made the nigga feel that way because you was just a total different person after that. After that point, right? We kind of want you to feel that way though. When we mm-hmm. get to that point, right. we want you to feel like you wasn't shit, never. <laughs> right? Because you turn around, you look at her, and you like, damn, she, damn, she's so cold, like she. But it different. take a lot for a woman to get to that exactly. point. Exactly. So when y'all do, when y'all do, y'all do. So are we meant to be with each other forever? Or, what do you so. mean, one I, but person? I think, right. I think it's different for every That's person. That's a choice. Yeah, it's a choice. And I also feel like it's at a certain point in your life. Like, I feel like once you've experienced a lot of things and you've lived your life, Mm -hmm. you might feel like, I just want to be with one person for Mm -hmm. the rest of my life. I'm good now. I done did everything. I'm chill. Like, I could do it. I'm Mm -hmm. not missing shit. Because really, there ain't shit out here like that. 
Mm. Once you get to a certain point, you're like, I just want to be in my situation, be comfortable, be stable, be happy. That's also a a level of of maturity. Maturity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That right there is the mature thing to Mm -hmm. feel. And at points, I think men, I think for us, we, 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 uh, we battle with that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like a man could get to that point, but he doesn't stay there. Right. You know what I mean. We battle with that. So I don't. I don't feel like you could say that a man isn't a husband just because he's a cheater. Well, just cheating don't ass get husband. Married. And I feel like this too. Right. Mm-hmm. And I also feel like at times, like it's hard for me to determine whether men want a woman who's really successful and busy or not. Because sometimes I feel like men who are really successful don't want a woman who is doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? What do you think about that? Um, I'm attracted to successful women. But on the flip side, sometimes you want a woman to just, you know, do certain things for you that you would you would feel like this is my woman. Like, you know, sometimes the successful woman, you know, because of her grind, she may not have the time to do some of those things that we would... uh that we will require, require mm-hmm. right? Um, but it doesn't it doesn't make it any less different though. It's, it's still it's still the same because you still would love her the same way though, right? So, but um, I don't know. I personally like a successful woman. I'm personally more attracted to a woman that I feel like don't need me. Really? Okay. Yeah. Because some guys like women to feel like. Yeah, I feel like um, um, a lot of guys, they want to save, they want to save a girl, yeah. you know, they like success the intimidates them. I feel like this is one of my biggest problems in dating. Right, right. Because it, it makes them feel uh, inferior because I don't need anything from a guy, just right. love and attention. And right, you can get it. It so makes right. them weird. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, the, 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 a lot, sometimes for men, a lot of men. You gotta remember, like a lot of men, they deal with a lot of insecurities, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of a lot of men, they deal with a lot of insecurities. A lot of them not as confident, you know, as they seem. And sometimes the money, the the trinkets, the the the, the, the uh, you know, the things that we see, you know, helps with their confidence. It 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 covers what's really there, mm-hmm. right? You don't know if this person is really this nigga because smoke and all, mirrors, right? All we see is the image of it of mm-hmm. them, you know, um. So when you get a girl that that needs you more than you need her, it probably makes them feel better, mm-hmm. right? They feel more solid because now I can I can change her life or I can help her in a situation, and she looks to me, you know. So that that is a thing for some men, you know. Yeah, and it's mean. a balance too, because then sometimes guys get like angry if you need them too much. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like if they feel like. It's just a weird balance that you have to figure out the but right. That's not a good place for a lot of women to be anyway. I, yeah, I just feel like guys have absolutely nothing to offer me. I have so much to offer <laughs> and guys have nothing what to do you mean offer have me. Nothing? Like I have everything that a guy could offer me. But, but you talking besides about material love. though. No, I'm not even talking about anything. What do you mean? Like I have so much to offer. The, the besides just as a person. So you don't think I have so much offer to offer. You? I'm a I guys at least the guys that I've I don't know. I can't right, I don't want to talk about bad about the guys that I I've been with. Yeah, it's okay. But I'm just saying, you know, I like to learn. I like I feel right. like a guy could provide me with knowledge. Right. So if a man ain't teaching you nothing, then what good is it? Exactly. But it's like nothing, at this point, I'm the, I feel like I'm the one who's always teaching. But but maybe you 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 uh you I just, in the wrong pool. Yeah, I, maybe you're right. So like if a nigga, if you're not learning nothing from a nigga and he and he can't show you or teach you something or you can't matter of fact y'all that's what I'm saying like I have so much to offer I could do so much you for say, for yeah. a, 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 per, a person in my yeah. life Is whether it's somebody I'm dating or yeah. somebody that's just my friend I, I I offer I have a lot to offer it's, indeed yes yeah. and let, okay let's just let's make up a scenario Mano mm-hmm. what could you offer Stephanie direction and correction direction and correction <laughs> that was just some slick shit. <laughs> that was, that mean, was his rapper what? answer. That was, a, that, was but, just some, that was that was just some slick shit to say. That was a song. I'm just okay. You know, listen, no, I mean, I feel like a man is is to provide um, 
it, direction, definitely. A leadership, a man is to be a leader, right? So, I mean, I feel like... No, I know that you were being funny, but that kind of sounded good. Direction and correction. Because it sounds like service. It sounds like so, you're helping. I'm, I am helping now. Wow. <laughs> but no, no, direction is right, though, because... I want to be. I want to. I want to provide outside of what monetary and, and you know outside of those roles like direction in life. Though, like if I want to be able to teach her and show her things and and maybe to help um, guide her in the right direction. You understand? And mm -hmm. into doing things like so. It's not about me giving you the bag. Sometimes it's about me showing you how to get it mm -hmm. for yourself. Preach. You understand? And it's about us coming or, together. Or, like you know, making the bag that you already have a bigger one. Mm -hmm. Right. So you make it together. But that comes mm -hmm. from actually learning. So it's like, let me put you on to this. And then, but that's, that, that's a give and take thing because as people, right, we should be learning from each other. Right. That's a, that's a no, true and that's I, that's how I feel. I feel like I um I have even in the situation you're saying like um um I I feel like a guy being with me I can make him a billionaire. Well, what type of niggas you talking about though? Like the, <laughs> I'm just like saying you talking to niggas that can't read. Like, like any, I'm just saying any <laughs> any guy like, who gets with me is what like you, a all level these niggas up. Just dumb. Like what do you mean? What you mean? Who's you dumb? Have, like, do you, this is the way you speaking about men is that as if the niggas that you deal with or have been dealing with. Is just so ABE level that you know. No, it's just even I, I. I have to say the guys that I deal with, I don't think they're slouches. I think they're there's so every guy I've been with is a successful man. You know, um, God bless them. They've they've done well in their lives, mm -hmm. but I still feel like being with me is kind of upgrade. Well, upgrade. You, you should have that confidence, baby. Yes. What what is this given though? I feel like. Wait, giving, what is it giving? Something giving. What? I mean, that couch is definitely hot. Yes. No, yeah. it's not. <laughs> We're normal. Something. We're normal temperature. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask y'all this. Do you feel like your taste has changed, right? And people like, we were looking at that that podcast, the Pivot podcast, mm -hmm. Channing Crowder's podcast. He was talking about Russell Wilson and Sierra. Mm -hmm. And he was saying that, how do you go from, how do you go from future to Russell Wilson and he's saying that Sierra is with him for the money and there's no way you can change that. But I also feel like sometimes being in a relationship that didn't work for you mm -hmm. can make you really like do a 180 and date a whole different type of person. Absolutely. Right. That's true. And I don't really feel like there's really no place for a nigga to be saying that though about another nigga though. Really. Honestly. Mm hmm. Like, who am I to be saying? It was very harsh. It felt like he had some... Yeah, I don't it know. Was it was so personal He must have lost a bet or right, something. Maybe, I think maybe, he wanted Sierra, actually, and or he maybe, banned it. Maybe, maybe, maybe dude and him don't really get along. Yeah. No, he said. Well, I don't know. That don't but, make sense. You speaking about a dude you saying you y'all cool with, but... I, I don't know, but I, don't, I, I just... Has really, your taste changed, though? Would you say, like, in... Because sometimes, have you broken up with somebody and then been like, I'm doing the opposite? Yeah, your taste change because every because on the journey of life, right? You developing constant, constantly, mm -hmm. and the things that you like, you know, you, you start to dislike depending on the ex the experiences that you have, right? So you learning more, right? You like, mm -hmm. man, I'm over these fucking strippers and bartenders. Fuck this shit. I'm getting way out. Of, I'm getting out this fucking locker room, right? So like, you know, like you, you change <laughs> as you. Room. Right, like you, you change depending room. on whatever it is that you that you that you used to, and and, and depending on where you going in life, right? And it, that's just a, a part of evolution. You supposed yeah. to evolve mm -hmm. at some point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, life is about learning, and and you should take each experience and learn, take something from it, and and use that to make better choices and be, have a better experience in the future. Right, and I feel like. Of course you can change. I feel like I changed. I don't even feel like it was that I changed my taste, but I just feel like I took what I had right. and learned the, the yeses and the noes and moved forward with, okay, I don't want this anymore, but this is what I want more of. Right. And I definitely got what I asked for. So Damn. Yeah, the main thing about relationships that don't work is learning from them. Right. Because mm -hmm. everything you should learn from, even yep. if it's something that it feels like a failure because yeah. it didn't work is... Really like something that teaches you what you don't want. I think it, that's mm -hmm. just as important as what it you really do want. It really does. It really does. And then you learn how to maneuver and navigate in your next situations. Yep. You know what you want to do. You know what you don't want to repeat. Mm -hmm. And some of the things that you went through in that prior relationship, you can spot them. Oh, oh I yep. see this coming now. Yeah. I don't want Been this there. again. 
Now, Mano, you were in a long term relationship that was public because you guys were on. <laughs> No, no, I'm saying, but oh. since then, yeah, prior. Yeah, prior, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so now since then, you've been single? Right. Okay, so are you like happier single? I'm happier. Okay. Because I had to fall in love with myself. Mm-hmm. I had to first learn how to, how to do that before I could possibly be out here actually trying to be in a relationship with somebody else. And trying to make them happy. See, I think we be getting in relationships for the wrong reasons, mm-hmm. right? We thinking that somebody's gonna make us happy. We looking for happiness, but the they happiness gotta within. come from within. Mm-hmm. So once I started to really like, cause I, I I was at a real low point. I was I was going through some shit. Like I was like on Molly and drinking and just going crazy. Like just in a in a in a dark place in my life. And for no reason, but the highs and lows of being in the industry and the ups and downs of, of, of expectation and, and trying to compete and not being able to or being able to and not being able to, like th- those ups and downs, you know, I felt myself succumbing to certain things. And then I had to hit a rock bottom. I had to get real low. And I remember you called me. You remember that call? Remember, yeah. And I appreciated that call because that day you called me, I was sitting in my in my um in my hotel room in Miami, fucking some 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 bitch I had in the room just walked out of my room with a Rolex. Like it, I was just on rock bottom. I oh, was, that was the day the girl stole the Rolex? Right, stole stole a watch. This this lady's on Instagram going crazy on me on, mm-hmm. on social media, right? So I'm just at a bad place, right? I'm, it's middle of the afternoon, all this shit is happening. And I'm saying to myself, what am I doing, mm-hmm. right? You didn't get this far in your life for to just throw away everything, right? Nigga, you still in a race, you still in a car. You understand, it might, be, it might not be going as fast as everybody else is, but nigga, you ain't, you ain't in jail. You ain't in the casket. You understand what I'm saying? You, you, you're free. You're healthy. You got opportunity and time. Get on your shit. So I had to really find myself. I had to really dig deeper into, into who I was. So I had to go through that, though. Mm-hmm. I had to go through all that. I had to go through that, that suffering. You understand? And sometimes the pain is necessary. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So I had to go through that for me to find who I was and really to, to climb back. And that's why I'm in, a, I, I feel like I'm in the best place ever in my life, ever. Yeah, sometimes you got to break down to build up that's even right. stronger. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So yeah. do, you, do, do you feel like after you find yourself and you feel like the love coming from within you, you will double back to someone you felt like gave you love, but you didn't return it to them? And I'm just saying like someone you was in a long relationship with. I don't understand that question. You don't understand? Is, it, is this personal? What, 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 it's what? not a personal question. I'm not talking about myself. You oh, and I have okay. never been in a relationship. What? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm saying. What's the question? I'm, the question is, all right, I'll ask it again. Okay. okay. Like after you feel like you've come to that place where you, you find love in yourself and you feel like you can receive love back because you love yourself, will you go back to someone who you feel like you hurt? Mm. Oh, got it. I mean, usually a lot of times, I mean, most times certain things could have ran its course. Mm. And sometimes going back is not the answer. And sometimes you're not the same person. They're not the same person. Um, and and sometimes y'all just have to agree that, you know, to, to evolve, you know, separately. Um I don't know if going back oh, is is the answer. I mean, it, it may work for some some people, you know. Right. Um, U turns for me never really been good. You feel yeah, better I, now. I, too, I agree. U turns don't work. Trust no, me. I have to agree. I, <laughs> I don't like, want to drag it in. I, I, I made a whole figure you. eight, and, yeah. and no, I'm, you know I'm off that track. What's so. hard, Mano, for you is that I think people view you in a certain way as like no, this. No, I'm saying it's like a strong right. person. Dominant, that always, yeah. very And so alpha sometimes male. it is hard to admit like your own vulnerabilities mm-hmm. yeah, and though. to be open about that. But that's why I'll be honest because I know so many people go through so many different things. You know what I mean? You don't have to be a a rapper or celebrity or media person says we all share the same experiences. Yeah, everybody's you know what I mean? We all dealing with hurt and pain and, and suffering and loss or whatever. So I, I, 
I just don't think like I think when you when you find and you start to get happy within yourself, then the, the the only object, the only thing you should be doing is moving forward. And I also feel like you doing your show is therapeutic for you too. It is because I get to talk about all my shit. And I get to yeah. be honest. Yeah, you understand that. And and like I said, I don't have to be the the hero. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't. I never. You know, like the thing about music. It's like, especially coming from a rapper standpoint, we always, it's so macho, it's so like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's, it doesn't really express vulnerability, you know, in a way where people relate a lot of times, you know, but when you do, people were like, damn, you really, you know, like my biggest song is All the Above. So they always, you know, that was something I was talking, speaking real. Yeah. So the, the, the podcast gives me the opportunity to do that. Like we laugh and we joke and we talk real shit. And you make money. Ain't that amazing? Big money. Congrats on the Fox Soul movie. Thank yes, you. absolutely. Thank you. Look at me, I'm smiling. You got Look that. You got the lobby boys. Lobby boys. Lobby boys. Lobby boys. I noticed too that you like to team up with people a lot. You know what? Um, I think New York needs that. Yeah. I think that we. This is a city that, um, you know, we was always. It was always about who was the one king. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It was always about who is that one nigga. I think that. That has been embedded in our minds and our brains. It's always, it's always like, been a battle, King, right? It's always and, been and a battle. And I think versus... that that had a lot of, you know, bad ramifications for the city. I'm just talking about for the for the morale of the city, right? I figured out that when, and once me and Jim started coming together and doing a Lobby Boys album, you know, and and Fab and and and, and Davies, and we all started to come together and work out and share our own experiences with each other as black men in the business. It it start to send a message out mm -hmm. that says, "Look, we all kings. Yeah. We all can have our own individual success, but ain't nothing wrong with us, you know, going at these niggas together too. Stronger in numbers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Stronger Strong together. Numbers, do y'all talk about like women problems? Yeah, we and talk stuff about like, all. That. You do? Yeah, that's everything. good because yeah. some people don't have that. But that's what makes it so good. Mm -hmm. And we actually doing a pilot with uh with Revolt. I was gonna say this sounds like a TV yeah, show. Yeah, yeah that's dope. Shooting. Yeah, we and I feel shooting. like in today's climate, especially in New York with the drill rap and everybody with the gangs against each other and everybody coming at each other and people getting hurt and this that and the third. I feel like y'all being the OGs right. is setting the tone we to change you. the narrative right. and to get things back to all of this craziness dying down yes. because it's all for nothing. Yes. Arguing yes. over shit that yeah. don't even make no sense. Yeah, yes. So indeed. I applaud y'all for that for real. Yes, indeed. I think that. It shows like we were talking about, I think it was me and Fab the other day. It was like people really respect how we moving, mm -hmm. right? Because it shows like leadership yeah. and it shows us really like coming together and it's not taking nothing away from mm -hmm. us individually. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you know, me standing next to you or you standing next to me is not taken away. So it's like it shows the city and it shows the rest of the world that it's okay, that we it's okay, can, it's to be okay cool. that we come together. On some Wu Tang shit, we can support each other. Like I told him, that's a look. You having a video? I ain't got to be on a song, but I'm pulling up. I'm supporting mm -hmm. it. Yeah, because it looks better. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's it hard is to be better. out here by yourself. Yeah. I ain't gonna oh, lie. it is better. Yeah. As much as we all want to be, and we are all individuals, but mm -hmm. sometimes it's hard. Like, yeah, yeah. it is. And it's good to have people that yes. understand the navigation of the yes. system mm -hmm. and have been through similar things because everybody has ups yeah. and downs yes. in this business. I'm yes. sure individually, you all can appreciate the support from one from one another. Right, we all yeah. fathers. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. We all been in the business. Right. And it's uh, it's a rocky road. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, you know, but we we together, though, we get to change some of the narrative narrative and it looks exciting for the fans. Yeah. Right. So we just dropped another another song, uh, another video last week. Fit Lit, because that's the name of our mm -hmm. uh, club. Yeah. Fit Lit Club. We be watching y'all. Right. In the gym. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> we shot that in the gym. We're working out. We really yeah. we, we really go and work out. Though. Yeah. This is not a game like we it, really it's, it's that on some real fashion shit, show, but y'all do be working. Who's out? the most fit on some real shit? I mean, you, you got you you to remember that Jim always been working out, mm -hmm. right? So he he's the, always been working out. The captain. And right, because he is, he's like a trainer, right? He's a maniac. <laughs> like, he's a, like, yo, yo what, we, what we doing today, uh, Capo? Uh, legs, arm, back, chest. Yo, we just did that yes, yesterday. What we doing tomorrow? Keep it up. Legs, arm, back, chest. Like, <laughs> yeah. he's a madman. Mm -hmm. um, Davies is super fit. He's he's always maintained. Because me and Davies used to work out together before. Um, so he's he, he he's maintained um, a steady a steady regime of, of, of working out. And he he gets busy. But the, the person that, 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 that really is 
that surprises everybody that that actually is really consistent is fab wow fab is super consistent it don't matter what city because we got a group chat that we we in and we got to you know no matter what city we in we got to send a video making sure everybody working out no matter fab is in la he in vegas he'll find a gym it don't matter you think he dressed the best in the gym too Definitely. <laughs> Fab be drippy in the gym. Definitely. <laughs> Fab be drippy That's everywhere. probably why he likes That's to go. His thing. Definitely. He yeah. come, he's going he to come get busy, but he's going to come coordinated. Right. <laughs> For the busy. Definitely. <laughs> Fur, shorts. Yeah, he, <laughs> come with his pea coats and shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's amazing though, and I it love is. to see it, man. And you know, Mano, I look at you like I'm there was periods of time in your life when you're like, I really want a girl, man. So you don't even feel like that right now. I mean, it has to be the right situation. You think working out has given you more stamina in the bedroom? Was there ever a time when you felt like your shit was I think it's the person though, because you could be like, like like it's the person that drives mm -hmm. you more crazy. Like, like, damn, I just want to just be on her all all day long. Like I, sometimes it's the person that just drives you to that point where you just want to be on them all the time. Um, then it's people that's just like, ah, I'm gonna do it and <laughs> go to sleep. No, I ain't I ain't doing another round so you can forget about it. Damn, like, I am. Yeah, See, wow. sometimes, yeah. We don't know yeah. if it's the one round and it was so amazing you were just exhausted or, or if, if it's just yeah, over which it. one it is it? Be, it could be it could be one or the other. I'd go one round and I turn around and go, damn. Mm. I want some more. <laughs> this is weird. Are you just, no, I'm just saying. Are you I just acting it out? I would turn. I would usually turn to my right. I would usually turn to my right. I would usually turn to my right. really turn around. I would. I would. I would usually turn to my right, and then I would say, "I want some more." Mm. What would you say, Stephanie, if that was you? <laughs> I, why would it be me? Actually? <laughs> <laughs> Cause you to his right right now. Yeah, you know, right. Acting out a scene. We role playing, mm -hmm. man. We just acted out a whole slave role. Play, yeah, like. we just did the slave role. Right. I had nothing to do with the slave role. I had, my name is Stephanie Santiago. <laughs> this is I had not. nothing to do with anything that you said about slaves. <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad. This is so fucking bad. I'm about to get banned. I know. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, so what is the most like, or on average, do you normally do like two or three times, or is it usually once? <sighs> And did it change as you got older? Nah, I, so, yo, listen, it was this girl that I was like going like four and five times. Like this was recently, like I was going crazy. But it's because she just turned me on. She just drove me crazy. Every time she get up to walk to the bathroom, I'd be like, damn, I want to fuck her. Like it was just, <laughs> she just had that sex appeal. And then sometimes I'm it's, with, with somebody else, I noticed that I would just be like, all right, I'm one and done. I'm cool. Meh. I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. Meh. You know uh -huh. what I mean? What's well, up? Put on ESPN. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, put on a movie. Uh -huh. You know, but for average, I say about two rounds at least. You know what I mean? If I'm in that, if you got, if you, if you pushing my lust to that level, like. Does lust equal, can it equal love to you? Like, can, do you think that the people that you've been most attracted to are the people that. You have toxic. been in love with, or do you feel like those two things cannot be related to each other? Like I could lust for you, but not have feelings for you. Mm. I think, I think, I think lust, because if you're spending so much time with one person, I think you can start developing true feelings for them. And, and if you got a high level of lust for them, that makes it even better. Mm -hmm. What's better than than being desired by your partner? Mm -hmm. But have you ultimately. ever lusted for somebody that you didn't really care about like that? Yes, mm -hmm. like because it was just something that's that was just so sexual about them, or so sexy about them that I just it was just like a more of a physical attraction, right? More animalistic than you know, the, than real passion. Then than, right, then it wasn't more about me actually wanting to, you know, get to know them in a. In a more, you know, personal, way. personal level. Yeah. Can that last? I don't think so because women are not going to let course. it. Right. It, it's got a, it got a date on it because after a while, women is not, you just ain't going to keep fucking on me. Right. What's up with the what's right? up? What we doing? What's mm -hmm. up? What we doing? Like, <laughs> you're coming over here every whenever. You understand? You're going crazy. And then, and then you know, what? I, I don't hear from you for a week and then it's the same shit. So 
you know, I think that that, that got a time limit on it. Mm-hmm. The, the, what, what I think women like is that is consistency. Right. So if you, if you if you consistently having sex, but then at the same time you spending time and we doing things, we stepping out, we going places, we we doing things other than the bedroom. Then it's growing. Then 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 it's growing on a woman. You know, ain't got no issue with that. Mm. Do you think a woman could? We were talking about guys not doing oral sex properly. Can a woman suck a dick wrong? Like yes. has that happened to you? Yes. Yes. Whoa. Fucking teeth, man. <laughs> so that Jeez, what, besides that's besides teeth, what, be what wrong. else? Teeth. That's is, teeth, and then some no nos. Like not uh, not that we need any advice, but for need, the, like, for the women out there, that I don't, I don't like nineties head. Like I don't What's like nineties head. Nineties yeah, head is like head without spit. That was oh. like what they was doing in the nineties. Okay. I didn't right, know that was in the 90s. They did yeah. that in the 90s? No, they didn't have spit in the 90s. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They mm-hmm. didn't spit in the 90s? No, they didn't spit in the 90s. No, the 90s. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh. When we was kids, they wasn't spitting yet. <laughs> so what I'm what? saying is that... Like a dry blow job. Yeah, it was dry. Wow. It was like, you know, that straight up and down. Just, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I need some... some you still head. can't That's like that, movie though. head. Not, not really. porn head, you but can't... like movie head. Wow. Like TV head. I thought you were saying if you're in the movie theater. No, no, no. No, no. But just like the head that you see on TV that's just like head It's nice and neat. So you like it. It's like I don't really want to do it. It's not sloppy sloppy. It's like I don't really want to do it, but I'm going to do it. I'm just going to give you a, you know, just just to go through the motions. Would you say something? Yeah, that sounds whack. Yeah, let's get past this. Oh, you just, do this no more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's move Turn on. Around. Let's, yeah, let's move on to what's yeah, next. What percentage is, of women you think are good at it, like that you've been with? The funny thing is that a lot of women think they're great at it, and then a lot of times that they're not. Ah, shit. Yeah, a lot of times. Every, let me not, tell you something. I had a conversation with like, I had a conversation with a guy friend of mine. Paid. I had a conversation <laughs> because right. Kevin Samuels had the clip when he was talking to the girl and she was like that she had good sex and he's like, Well, how do you know? And she's like, Well, I haven't had any complaints. And he's like, just because you finish a plate don't mean you enjoyed the food. Right. You know, you wanna go follow through because you're hungry, but right. you know, not because it was that good. Um, so I was having a conversation with one of my guy friends and I was like, you know, ask the same question. Like how many girls that really do stand up to having this good sexual behavior that they claim to have? And and his answer was surprising. Right. He said not that many. Nah, <laughs> they don't think that they don't. Every, he said first more of all, women are not as good right, than they the women who are, can actually back up that, oh, I got fire head or right. my pussy bomb. He said it's a small percentage. Right. Every woman that I know like swears her pussy is the greatest pussy on her. Like, <laughs> well, this is good pussy. I'll be like, like, how you know you got good pussy? Like every bitch thinks you got good pussy. Like, so what makes it good pussy? It's wet. The, that off top. Some some women are more wetter than others for some reason. Like some women, everybody's different. Really, like it's like like gush. Like her, like like wow. It's like it. it's a water pump in this bitch. Like <laughs> the fuck is going on? Right, that's really good. And then it's, I guess, it's the move, the way she moves, like the way she work that pussy is makes it better. Mm-hmm. Like you know, what some, about noises and talking? Oh, well, that's good. Cause then I was messing with an Asian woman that she looks so sweet, and then you get into the bed, she talk crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nice. She goes crazy, like, come on, give me that dick. Give me that fucking dick. Make um what? <laughs> but she just looks like an angel. You would never she walked in this room, you would never think. Can anyone ever overdo it sometimes? Cause you know how sometimes people talk like they in a porn. Yeah. Yeah. And I've one day I tell I tell a girl, I said, You tell everybody this. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I say that. Yeah, I swear to God. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. All like, Daddy, this is dick is so good, it's the best. Shut up! Like you about to make my dick just go soft. Really? Uh, talking, just shut up! Like just yeah, shut up. Just, uh, to say. You sound so corny. Like you sound. You it sounds corny. You, yeah. not, you don't sound realistic to me. Right. Like, it sounds you know, scripted. You're right. You sound like this is the, what you, your this is your line. Mm-hmm. You understand? What's but, the uh, What's mm-hmm. the most expensive thing? I saw that. Um, I saw Kanye bought his new girlfriend a what is it two hundred seventy five thousand dollar Birkin. Birkin. Have you bought a Birkin yet? No. I've bought a watch, <laughs> um, car. Wow. Um, Those are big gifts. I'll help out. If I, if I fuck with you, I'll fuck with you. Do you ever have buyer's remorse? Never. I never try <laughs> to take nothing back from nobody. But have you ever been like, I shouldn't have did that? Like, no. man. No? Everything, no, because in that moment, everything was done in that moment. And mm-hmm. you was meant to have that. 
She's like, let me get my watch back or let me get those bags back. Or like, no. Nah. What's the best present you ever got? <sighs> best present. I don't know. Maybe women like buy gifts like maybe like sneakers or That's hoodies. it? So you buying um, cars and Rolexes and you get a pair of sneakers? Oh, a woman bought me a bracelet before. Okay. You yeah. got like 20 of them on right now. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Bought me a bracelet. One of those? <laughs> 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 is it one of those? I like that your feet is out. Only one. I like that. You can take it off. You get more comfortable. No, it's okay. It's that sometimes when my foot is like in the sneaker for too long, I get like a nerve that pinches really? from wearing heels for so many years. Mm-hmm. What do we? So I've been needing, after a, this, I be needing a, a break. Is that is that what you want to do? What? Chelsea? Chelsea House? Oh, yeah, I'm, s- I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. Chelsea, yeah. I gotta drive G to the airport though. Yeah, my flight oh. at 7 30. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. But Mayno, congratulations oh. on Thank everything. You. you got lobby boys, you got lobby kitchen coming, talk, you kitchen got the pilot with Revolt. Right. What That's else right. don't we know about? Got a little bit of everything. I'm on I'm on um lip service with y'all. I know, what? but what else? That's you popular. always have a me- when I tell you hustle hard is since you came out with that, it has never stopped. Never mm-hmm. stopped hustling. That's the whole thing. We got to keep going. We got to yeah. figure it out. And I like now better than ever. I like the times that we in now better than ever mm-hmm. because of social media and everything. Like you can have different components. Like I have the podcast and still go in the studio with Jim mm-hmm. and make a whole album and go get a deal for it and put yeah. that out mm-hmm. and still go over here and do, and you know, yo, Ange, I need help with this book, right? I can still yeah. do all these things, have these different components as a brand, mm-hmm. as a hustler. We don't have to stay in one in one place in one you know i yeah. think years ago when you was a rapper you was just a rapper yep you know what i mean and you didn't do as many different things mm-hmm. i mean uh the smart ones did many things so right. you know i like and you've always been into executive producing and creating mm-hmm. your right. own content right that's definitely from the beginning definitely. even though yeah definitely ownership <laughs> you know, get, coming in the game with shooting we'll shoot it ourselves like yeah. yeah i feel like you had some ideas that got taken like yeah yeah, yeah. um i had did I had I had wrote uh, uh I had wrote um I had wrote this 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 TV idea about uh me and Kim Osorio mm-hmm. about the hip hop oh, police. Mm-hmm. Oh, and that's happening, right? That's I think that's happening. Mm-hmm. But that wasn't your that's wasn't somebody else's thing. Yeah, but I okay. did you know. And it's actually happening, I think Derek Parker, who was the original hip hop cop. I actually was years ago taking him to meetings. So I probably was too early on it, right? So mm-hmm. I was taking him time. to meetings and he was like, what, what are you talking about, man? I'm like, listen, every cop show is based off of a real unit, mm-hmm. right? All of these units are real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's one unit that that is actually happening in New York City that's real that we need a show about. Mm-hmm. And I'm talking about the hip hop uh, uh, cop thing. Like, yeah. The, the, like the, the police that police the music business, mm-hmm. the entertainment world. Like and that's this really is a, a show. New York thing. A and lot of people that don't even know that it, yeah. that, that right. it even exists so, in other cities. I've met some of them before. I'd be coming out well, the garage and be like, "Hey, I'm a hip hop cop." Of I'm course. Like, All right. Hey. Of course. It's interesting that you would have a relationship where you could even really speak like that to them. Like, how does that happen? Well, see, he was he was um, resigned. Right. I remember. Right. And so he put the book out too. He right? put the book out. So I. Because he had put that book out, I had went and 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 got some you know advice and information from him. Because when I started writing, and then I was taking him around, I was trying to shop it because I felt like this idea was was next level. Yeah. But it's actually happening, you know, and it's and it's cool because it's it it doesn't make me feel no kind of way that it, it it's not my idea, but it makes me feel like I was on the right track. Yeah. So we just got to keep going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's interesting. All right. And um, Mayno, I feel like you had a lot of ideas that I see happening now. Like what? I mean, I've seen some other stuff that we've had discussions about. Like, I know you had one um, about plastic surgery. Oh, yeah. I did the whole documentary on the um, on the bartenders in New York. I mm-hmm. actually shot that. Yeah, wow. you did. What I happened? I actually shot that. I never found the, the right distribution. I could I could have always put it out. I can still put it out, mm-hmm. but I wanted the right distribution on it. You know what I mean? I didn't want to spend, you know, the money and, and the time and the effort into doing it and not and having and the right not home. Right. I mean, it's still there, you know, um, mm-hmm. you know, every day we still, you know, still trying to actively find the right home for it. You know, I didn't want to just. You got to put that out, man. Oh, it's I have to. I know. Mm-hmm. Cause I really, I really, I really put some heart and soul into that. I think it's you should have a, a screening for it so we could just see it. A just dollar like at a, a time. It was, but you know what I really need to do though? 
what I what I need to do that uh, with that as I need to go back in and update the things that happened since, since. Yeah. COVID yeah. and after COVID and mm-hmm. how it affected the clubs yeah. and what is it like today mm-hmm. because you know because there's um, been a change in the there's cycle. been a change there's been a change so yeah, yeah it was uh it's dope it's called a dollar at a time. All right, Mano. Yeah. Well, as always, always working, and we yeah. always appreciate you. You know, yes. you are my still my BRF. I had demoted yeah, you earlier, but I we back. Got kicked <laughs> out the whip. We back. Everybody that every person that knows me, I'm like, I'm going to see Mano. Oh, yeah, BRF, your best mm-hmm, rapper friend, yeah. mm-hmm. and you can see why. Mano, you feel like every girl you ever been with, you could double back if you wanted to. No. Some of them. Some of them. Mm-hmm. Some of them you don't want to. No, some of them don't want me. Really? Yeah. Have you ever had your heart broke? I wouldn't. uh, Broke. Stepped on. Stepped on, maybe. Yeah. Played with. uh, Yeah, I guess. Um, I don't think that every girl wants to double back. You know, like, I ain't fucking with you. You ever cried over a girl? Um, It's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Fucking right. (laughs) <laughs> oh, <laughs> looks to the right make me oh cry. my god I'm not gonna make you cry I'm not gonna make you cry make, make me cry baby <laughs> <laughs> alright well on that note we yeah. gotta go lip service lip thank service. you so much Mano definitely a friend to all of us love yes. Yes. we, we love, love you Mano, Mano. Definitely. we love you Mano <laughs>